everyone, I'm James Moffat, driver of the number 18 Jim Beam Falcon for Dick Johnson Racing. You're watching Norton's Engineered for Speed segments on Speed Cafe. And today I'm going to talk to you about all the cockpit adjustable items we have in the race car. Probably the biggest cockpit adjustable item that we have is the, the anti-roll bars for the front and the rear of the car. And um, in a race situation, this is very critical for us because uh, depending on the balance of the car, if we've got too much oversteer, we can either soften the rear bar or stiffen the front bar and, and vice versa. If we have too much understeer in the car, we can try and stiffen the rear bar or soften the front bar. So uh, generally at the start of the stint, when the tyres are good, we want to try and run the sway bars as, as stiff as possible. But um, generally as the tyres go off and, that, and they degrade, uh, we start sliding around more so we have to soften the roll bars off so it's uh, quite common for, for the guys to be changing the roll bar settings uh, throughout the race and probably the other biggest adjustment that we have in the cockpit is, is our uh, brake bias so uh, that's adjusted with a little knob down the side of my seat here and it's pretty simple All, if I want more brake percentage to the front of the car I just wind the knob forward and if I want more to the rear um, I'll wind it to the to the rear of the car, so uh, pretty pretty simple, um, and you know every team does it differently. But um, on our cars, that's how it's set up. Typically, um, at the start of the race with uh, full fuel, we'll run more percentage of brake to the rear, and then as throughout the stint, as the fuel load lightens, we have to creep on a bit more front um, front brake. So uh, they're probably the two biggest items that we can adjust inside the car to um, try and maximise the speed of the car throughout a race. Well, another feature we have inside the car is um, the line locker, which is a button we have on the steering wheel. And basically some guys use this feature to um, either stop the car from rolling at the start um, or to load the clutch up at the start. So uh, depending on ind individual preference really is, um, is how you go about it. But basically loading the clutch up sort of involves coming up to the line when you, you come into your grid spot and um, bringing up X amount of brake pressure which um, you have on displayed on your dash and then you basically just hold the line locker button and that um, basically holds the front brakes on at um, whatever brake pe pressure you've I guess selected and then from there it's a matter of selecting first gear and then basically letting the clutch out till you feel the bite point and then um, waiting for the, the five second signal to come from the um, the starters box, bring up your throttle percentage to whatever percentage you want, and then start to sort of let the clutch out and uh, let the clutch load up. And basically from there, you'll, you'll get to a stage where you're waiting for the red lights to go out. And uh, once the lights go out, let go of the button and modulate your throttle and clutch from there. So uh, it is actually quite a technical process and you know it, it sounds sort of pretty simple but it does take a bit of adjusting to and like I said you know each driver does it differently and um, some guys choose not to load the clutch up and just use a line locker just as I guess a, a system that prevents the car from rolling at the start if, if you were rolling so uh, yeah that's just another another feature that we have inside the car that you know is, is going on at the start of the race.